Thanks for joining us. Some may call him a hero, but a University of Minnesota freshman says he was simply at the right place at the right time. Tom Stoley is from Duluth. He spent this past Easter Sunday, however, on campus. He told our Nina Moyni he never imagined that he would end up saving a woman's life while out on a run. He chose a running path that took him across this bridge overlooking the Mississippi River and into the darkest moments of someone else's life. Looking down at the water a lot, walking real slow, you know. Tom Stoley made a note of the way the 24-year-old woman was acting and decided to stop. She put her feet in right there and stood up and leaned over the edge. Tom works as a security monitor on campus, but he's never been trained for this type of crisis. She said, no, no, stop, get away from me, don't touch me, don't touch me. And she brought her left leg up over the top of that top one right there, so she was straddling it. He backed up but didn't give up. I'm backing up, you see, I'm backing up, I'm doing what you say, I'm doing what you say. And they talked for about 25 more minutes, talk. small talk. I was stressed, very stressed. When a few bicyclists passed, Tom motioned for them to get help. They called campus police. Uh, so I calmed down as much as I could, because if, uh, if I'm calm, she's calm, kind of thing. After some time, he asked to help the woman down from the railing, but she swung her other leg over the railing to face the water. She's about to jump, I don't do anything now. I was like, I can either, stand by and watch her jump, or I can at least try and catch her. And so I just lunged and grabbed her. The woman didn't resist. She only cried. Police arrived soon after and took her away. Tom doesn't like to think about what might have happened if his path hadn't crossed hers. He only wants others to pay close attention to their surroundings. Tom says he knows every situation is different, and it may be best to just immediately dial 911, but he didn't have his phone with him that day. The university president called him today to thank him for what he did.